For the last 50 years, I've been trying to make models on computers that can learn in order to understand how the brain learns. And I'd always assumed that the brain was better than the computer models we had. And I'd always assumed that by making the computer models more like the brain, we would improve them. And my epiphany was, a couple of months ago, um, I suddenly realised that maybe the computer models we have now are actually better than the brain. And if that's the case, then maybe quite soon they'll be better than us. So that the idea of superintelligence, instead of being something in the distant future, might come much sooner than I expected. If you want to go to Europe, you create the sub-goal of get to the airport. And then you solve that sub-goal. And for any complicated goal, you want to create sub-goals. And it turns out here's a very good sub-goal for almost anything you want to do. Um, get more control. If you get more control, it makes it easier to achieve other things. So once these things are able to create sub-goals, them being very smart, I think they will quickly realise that if they got more control, they could realise their goals much more easily. And once they want to get control, things start looking bad for people. So if you're a skilled manipulator, and these things will be extremely skilled manipulators because they'll have learned from all the manipulations people ever did. So they'll be much better than a person at manipulating us. They'll be able to manipulate us into doing whatever they want. It'll be like you manipulating a two-year-old. A vast majority of Americans are concerned about AI. Uh, we asked specifically about the existential uh, nature of humanity. Will AI impact that? And 61% of Americans agree that it will. And obviously, we have, we have to put that in context. Americans have seen a lot of science fiction. They've seen sort of how that's unfolded. Because they say, now I've created this thing, and it has a mind of its own. It makes its own decisions, right? So it's no longer up to me to control it. And this is a false and a very, very harmful narrative. We need all hands on deck here to, to be able to control these systems. And an important component in this uh, you know, distributed structure of accountability and control is regulation, of course. So I think that there's uh, too much of a focus today on, uh, you know, AI systems taking over humanity. I think that these are really just, you know, uh, anti-utopian narratives that draw attention away from some of the real issues that these systems present. One of the big questions that researchers worry about is what we call model traceability. So who uses it? And these are powerful tools. So one of the concerns is once it's in the wild, it can be used by good agents or bad agents. And part of what I, I think is going to be really important, especially when you think about things like misinformation or the ability to generate text that might be used in nefarious ways is we need better traceability. Can you trace when a text is generated by a model instead of a human. That's really not great technology right now, and it needs a lot more work. Terminator and all those movies have really given us a good fear of a artificial intelligence, and I, I think uh, I think we got a long ways to go before we get there. And I, I think that there's a lot of just a lot of unknowns. This is where the danger may come in. Uh, that uh, AI is feeding on the information you give it, and uh, half of what we have on the internet is just garbage, more than half probably, and if you're feeding that to AI, this is what you're getting back. So it's still new, and I think it's coming at a very rapid pace, and we're just trying to get our map, wrap our minds around it, you know what I mean? And sometimes it's pretty difficult, you know? Like the pandemic, it was all new for us. We all experienced that together. We couldn't talk to our children about it because we never experienced it. So AI is kind of in the same boat, and uh, just kind of gradually um, escalate it, you know, but, you know, safely.